Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I want to talk about a fighter aircraft that deserves more attention and appreciation, the Vickers Type 432, often referred to as the Metal Mosquito. Of course, I'm being a bit sarcastic because the de Havilland Mosquito already receives plenty of recognition and praise. However, let's take a moment to give another aircraft, sometimes compared to the Mosquito, some well-deserved attention. While the Mosquito was revolutionary in its design, lightweight, incredibly versatile, and one of the fastest planes of its time, the Vickers Type 432 was conceived with a similar goal, but took a very different approach. The Origins of the Vickers Type 432 The story of the Type 432 begins in early 1939, just before the outbreak of World War II. The British Air Ministry issued Specification F.639, calling for a high-speed, heavily armed twin-engine fighter. At the time, Britain lacked a dedicated heavy fighter, and while the Mosquito was being developed, it was initially intended to be a bomber, not a fighter. Vickers responded to this need with the Type 414, a design centered around the powerful Rolls-Royce Griffin engine and a unique 40mm cannon mounted in a movable nose turret. This unconventional approach intrigued the Air Ministry, leading to the issuance of Specification F.22-39 for further development of the concept. However, the Air Ministry still wanted a more conventional heavy fighter, leading to the parallel development of the Type 420, a variant equipped with multiple 20mm cannons, evolution into the Type 432. By 1941, priorities shifted, and the Air Ministry became more interested in a high-altitude interceptor capable of engaging enemy bombers. This led to the development of the Vickers. Type 432, an all-metal aircraft designed to carry six powerful 20mm cannons. Unlike the Mosquito, which was made primarily of wood, the Type 432 featured a metal fuselage, which increased its weight but also made it more durable. Measuring 42.5 feet in wingspan, slightly smaller than the Mosquito, the Type 432 was still heavier, weighing around 16,200 pounds, compared to the Mosquito's 14,000 pounds. One of its unique design features was its lobster claw wing structure, which concentrated the internal supports near the surface, leaving the central portion hollow for extra fuel tanks. This design theoretically gave it a greater range than the Mosquito, 1,500 miles compared to 1,300. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines producing approximately 1,500 horsepower each, the aircraft was expected to reach speeds of 435 miles per hour, with some projections even suggesting it could achieve 550 miles per hour in a dive. However, the reality of its performance was quite different. Testing and performance issues. By late 1942, the first prototype of the Type 432 was ready for testing. Initial taxiing trials quickly revealed problems with directional instability, making it difficult to control on the ground. After modifications to the landing gear, the aircraft finally took to the skies on December 24, 1942. Unfortunately, the first flight was underwhelming, and just five days later, the decision was made to cancel further development. While the prototype continued to fly sporadically over the next two years, completing a total of 28 test flights, it became clear that the aircraft had significant issues. The Type 432 suffered from stability problems, making it challenging and demanding to fly. Efforts were made to tweak the control surfaces, rework the tail, and alter the wings, but the problems were never fully resolved. Moreover, the aircraft's Merlin 61 engine struggled to perform at high altitudes, in part due to cooling issues. Its actual top speed was only 380 miles per hour, far below the projected 435 miles per hour. Even worse, this speed was achieved without the planned pressurized cockpit and without the full armament installed, meaning 
the final operational version might have been even slower. The end of the metal mosquito. In 1944, it was clear that the Type 432 was not viable, and the lone prototype was grounded. While it remained in storage for a short time, it was ultimately scrapped in late 1945. The aircraft never got a real chance to prove itself, and while the Mosquito also had early development challenges, it was refined into one of the greatest aircraft of the war. The Type 432, however, never received the same level of commitment from the British military, and its potential was never fully explored. So, why was it abandoned so quickly? Perhaps the British simply preferred wooden aircraft. Maybe they were just more into classical designs instead of metal ones. Whatever the case, the Type 432 remains an intriguing what-if in aviation history. A heavy fighter that could have been, but never was. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know, if the Metal Mosquito were a superhero or a supervillain, what powers do you think it would have? Probably something involving extreme speed and firepower, or maybe it just drains energy from other aircraft. Either way, it would definitely be one of the more unique characters out there. See you in the next video.